BTB. Nigga, put up. Shut up. Shut the house, that's how we do, you know what I'm saying? 
but that's going to be so fucking epic, man. I, I hope they don't miss that. Uh, another one on that card is main event, W Dub versus G Soldier. Uh, G Soldier been hitting me up for a minute like he want to get on the card or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I have to see about nigga seriousness and shit like that, but when I when I called when I hit online and I was trying to get in contact with Clips, G Soldier was the first nigga to reach out to me. So I'm like, damn, dude reached out to me like that. He got me plugged with clips and shit like this. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna go ahead and put him on the card and make him a main event. But who I'm gonna put him against? So W like, fuck it, give him to me, cheese. I'm gonna put it on or whatever. So I, I hooked that up like that. And both of these niggas, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas talk shit about G Soldier. A lot of niggas talk shit about W, man. But real nigga shit, man, them niggas got bars. I mean, all you battle rappers out there, all you niggas think y'all the best. So I don't even be listening to that shit no more, nigga. Yo, you just as good as your last battle, like my nigga would say. I don't pay no attention to all that shit. I don't care if you COC, TBT, whoever, you know what I'm saying? You just as good as your last battle, you know what I'm saying? So them niggas got bars, and that, that's why I got them on that motherfucker. The main, main event, Charlie Clips and Heartless. And I'm going to tell you why I did reach out to Charlie Clips. I, I mean, a lot of niggas might not agree with me. I mean, but my opinion is my opinion to each his own. Charlie Clips is that motherfucking dude, you know what I'm saying? And to put him up against Heartless, it was actually like when me and W went to Milwaukee, we was on Black Ice Card. We was chopping it up and shit, and we was talking about the battles. And you know what I'm saying? When I seen Heartless, I was like, damn. Heartless ain't never been to Cheddar House, so I love to get Heartless on the Cheddar House stage, but who will he battle? So at the same time, I'm like, hmm, why don't I give Heartless the biggest battle of his career too, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put him up against Clips. So, me and Doug, we was rapping about it, he was like, yeah, that might be a good old look, cheese. I'm like, yes, we gonna go ahead and swing that shit, and we actually done made it happen, you know what I'm saying? I got Shane the rapper hosting that motherfucker, and Black Ice Cartel is also gonna be down here in the motherfucking building. You know what I'm saying? I got my boy The Example going against my boy Tone Bone. You know what I'm saying? The Example, he one of those motherfuckers that like to expose motherfuckers and shit. And Tone Bone, he one of those type of motherfuckers that's like, okay, nigga, do what you do with me. But at the end of the day, I'm about to bar your ass to death. And when I'm done with you, oh, man. But I, I expect that to be a classic right there. And I got Tez Beast Mode versus Nick G from Chicago. I expect that to be classic. Last battle I seen Nick G on, he went against SK and it was some phenomenal shit going on on that stage. Tez, he always get, you know, that's my nigga, hey, it is what it is. He gonna do beast mode, he gonna do his motherfucking thing, he gonna, you know, he gonna punch the nigga lights out, you know what I'm saying, that's Tez. And I got S -K, S K in case he tagged up. The reason I put that, that was like a last minute match. That's why SK wasn't on the main event card because SK is really a main event type of nigga, like no, no pun intended, you know what I'm saying? It was the last minute put on the card and I already had the main event put together. So I was like, who can I put him against? And you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas was booked up. So I'm thinking like, who else more hotter than KC tagged up? You know, KC tagged up, he from Throne Room. Shout out Throne Room, all the niggas down there Throne Room. My nigga Malachi, y'all boys doing y'all thing, but to me, KC tagged up is the hardest thing down there. No pun intended, I'm not taking nothing away from nobody else in the throne room. It, that's just my opinion. KC tagged up is the best thing on the throne room. That nigga got bars, he bar heavy. And that's why I put him up against AKSK. SK is animated, he bar heavy. Oh man, like him and Young Kenny, if you haven't seen that man, go on there, go on streetstatus.tv, man, look at that shit. Him versus Young Kenny, man, that nigga, hey, he got bars for days, you know what I'm saying? Plus, he also went against B-Magic back in the day. Shout out to Street Status too, you know what I'm saying? Then I got Killer B and Reckless Wordplay. Killer B and Reckless Wordplay. The reason I put that battle together because Killer B and Reckless, they kind of like almost remind me of each other. Then Killer B went against W up at the Black Ice, Ice Battle when I was up there in Milwaukee. So, you know what I'm saying? I kind of seen their styles collapse a little bit, so I thought that would be a good matchup. And next we got on that motherfucking card for Boy Nation. Misery versus T. Lou. Uh, T. Lou, he from Black Ice Cartel too. He from up there in Milwaukee. He went against Paperboy when I was up there. Truthfully, T. Lou kind of like, 
he kind of like upsetting me just a little bit because they like, hey, you don't need a punchline king and this, this, that, and the other. And he kind of choked up against Paperboy. But before he choked up, the nigga was spitting that shit, dog. And I was like, at first, I was gonna have him battle Ted's Beast mode, but then I had thought about it again. I was like, no, nah, I wanna put him up against somebody else that's more of a puncher and a schemer like he is. So I, I put Misery up the bet for that one right there, you know what I'm saying? Misery Raw Relatives, y'all already know, Chatter House, how he get down, you know what I'm saying? He done went against QP at his last battle, he did pretty good, you know what I'm saying? He lost, but he still put up a good fight, you know what I'm saying? He didn't get body, you know what I'm saying? Loud pack stacks in the 100K. I seen the 100K battle reckless. I think it was on Melee TV. Shout out to Miz the Great Gym. Um, I like dude was dude was nice. He, he got he got some fucking bars and he's he's, he's animated at the same time. And you know, loud pack stacks. Shout out to the highlight crew. You know what I'm saying? Jakarta and all y'all guys over there. Uh, that's my nigga too, you know what I'm saying? And and, and I kind of think like the styles kind of collide, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I want I wanted to see what that's gonna look like, so I'm looking for that to be a classic one too. Have bait and paper boy. Now that's another one that I'm like just dying to see because my boy Have Bake, he knew, but my nigga is punch drunk. Do you hear me? He got he, he just spit fucking haymakers, you know what I'm saying? And when I seen Paper Boy battling up there, you know, he was actually going against T. Lou. He was hitting T. Lou with some motherfucking haymakers, and I was like, damn, man, who, 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 who can I put this guy up against? Oh, him and half bait. So I'm, I'm expecting that to be a good clash also. Who else I got in this thing? Got him and KG Smith. Got him, he need, he need a win right now. He, he really does need a win right now. If you let KG Swiss kick your ass, got him, I don't know what the hell fuck to say to you, boy, because, hey, and he promising that he not coming on no weak shit. He making you, he giving you a run for your money, whether he knew or you don't know him or whatever, he promised he giving you a run for your money. You know what I'm saying? Got him one of my crazy ass white boys, him and Misery, both of them are crazy white boys, one with no sense, one with half sense, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I'm expecting that to be a class that's supposed to be a one round and unlimited. Then I got Toots, which is D-Boy Dollar's little sister, and Envy Me from Kansas City. They got a one round that limited going on. I, I'm expecting that I heard a little bit of Toots shit. I done seen Envy Me shit. Envy Me, she she go fucking hard. I, I, I think when she was at the Soul Bandit, she was one of the best over there, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Toots got bars too, so this gonna be her first time at it, and I wanna see what that's gonna look like. So like I said, nothing but classics all fucking night long, man. And the place that is going down is at Club Climax, inside the Ambassador, 9800 Halls Ferry Road, you hear me? St. Louis, Missouri. Man, come, be there. Tickets online right now at MetroTix.com, or you can go to the Ambassador Box Office, or you can go to any Snooks in St. Louis, or you can just see me, or Wink, but one of us in the street, we got them on deck, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with us. Boy Nation is going down on July 5th. Cheddarhouse.btv, man. Put up a shut up. Damn! Yeah. For the biggest rap battle to go down in St. Louis since a verb hit man. Cheddar House that BTV presents Boy Nation and it's going down. Yeah, this your boy Big Cheesy. And this your boy Slim Goody, and we about to put on for the city, y'all. Main events include Charlie Clips, Heartless, QP, Daylight, Bonnie Godiva, Official, D-Boy Dollar, Procane, Cloud McBree, Clean Paper, W Dub, G So, and the host of others. This will be hosted by your girl Shuri the Rapper. Saturday, July 5th at Club Climax inside the Ambassador. 9800 Hallsbury Road in St. Louis, Missouri. Tickets online right now at MetroTix.com or at the Ambassador Box Office. For more info, contact me. 314-399-1277. Shutterhouse.btv. Put up a shutter.